Okay, so I'll show you quickly the force of line uh, function uh, here. Uh, let me activate the connection here. You can see here it's uh, moving to the middle. And if I do the, the slider, it moves on its direction. I'm gonna put it here to do a loop test. So it will continuously move and I can show you here uh, what happens uh, if I press the force of line switch. Okay. So it will go to the home position. It, it will stay in the home. This is the zero position. That's the position it gets when it starts calibrating. Uh, and if I release it, it will slowly go back to online position and start moving okay so uh, the difference is if you press uh, while it's online the uh, force of line uh, the emergency button this will be disabled it will be no power you can see it reads manually the speed when I rotate it, and um, there's no power to this. So if uh, you're using actuators, you know, actuators for example, that uh, you can force the position by load, it, the actuators will drop to the home position by the load. Uh, unless you're using rotary with warm gearbox, it will uh, hold without this energized. Um, so when I activate again. It will try to calibrate again before it starts moving. So, and then it will continue working again. Okay, you can see here it's doing its movement. Now we're gonna close the software connection here. All right. Turn it off. So, so I can show you the rest of the uh, functions a little bit. Uh, now, the force of line it doesn't do anything um, when it's not connected to the software, except uh, if you have it in standby mode, which is the middle, and you activate it, it will park the motors. Uh, I set by default to go to park. Uh, because that's the function uh, what you want while in the game. You want to park the motors down so you can get off the vac the platform. And uh, you can see the LEDs there. Okay. Stand by. And of course, uh, with the buttons, you can see the function there. Uh, now, the park stand by uh, works when you're not connected to the software to go to either park the motors or to get them to the middle position okay and I'm gonna connect the other actuator so you can see what I mean okay all right so right now it's parked, when I uh, move it a little bit manually, it'll go out, back again, okay, uh, now it settles back to the park position, to the middle position, if I want to park it, you can press the park button there, or the standby to go to the middle. Okay, so the park position is uh, all retracted all the way down. Uh, that's to clear any confusion. Uh, you can change the park position if you like here. Um, for example, instead of 1%, I have it to be higher. 5%. So you can see it moves the motors out as I change this okay 
So every time now I press the park position, stand by, park, and you can do the same. Um, let me go back here with the standby. It's on 50%, um, but you can change it to be less or more. Let me set it to 74. So you can see here it goes up more. That's the middle position now. This is low position. And uh, when the timer expires, timeout, I'll go to the park. The new park we set on 33. Um, all right. So let me set that back to 1%. Okay. And then the speed it will go, it will move to the park position. Uh, you can set it uh, to go fast, for example. Or you can set it uh, really slow to one percent. Go to the middle. This is a really slow speed. This is the one percent I have here. Okay. So all this is adjustable. And then the timeout, when it's going to expire, this is about seconds, it's not exact. But uh, this is uh, automatic uh, timers to expire. Uh, for example, let me go back to the start. Um, when you put on standby, after a while of not doing anything, it will automatically pack the motors according to the timer. Okay. At the LEDs, you can see it uh, when it's parking, it's on yellow. Uh, when I put it on standby, it's blinking the yellow. And uh, when I force the offline, it will uh, have the red blink while it's moving back. And when it stops, it's stable. Uh, red and yellow together because it's parking. Uh, in this state, the standby button won't work. It will move. It's locked. So you can unlock it and uh, move it again. Okay. Well, uh, that's uh, about it. Another thing you may want to change. Uh, while you're testing the manual speed, it's the button's speed. It's the button's speed. You can uh, increase that. For example, if you want it to go faster, while you're pressing the buttons. And that's again it's for the uh, manual testing uh, around 30 is a good speed to to test it okay now another thing uh, i've been asked before uh, if you want the function of the kill switch which is uh, this one the emergency if you want to be packed on pie or uh, playing uh, kill switch what's uh, the difference is uh, when I do this, I can actually work the uh, button too, not only the emergency. Uh, if you select the kill signals, uh, what it will do, it will be just uh, play, killing the signals. Let me show you the drive there. Okay. It will do this. Okay. Explain killing the signals. Uh, 
Let me go back to the facts of buy. Okay. All right. I hope that covers everything. Okay. As you can see, there's lots of torque this develop. If I hold it, it's trying to back drive to the other direction. Doing um, so okay. Um, I hope that solves some questions around it. Uh, anything else? Let me know. Thanks.